Hey, Scruffy. Wow, you're quiet. I am a little bit late. Not a lot, but... <clears throat> I don't know, maybe Scruffy's mad. So I was cutting up the rotisserie chicken. <clears throat> so I went grocery shopping today. Okay, well. <clears throat> That's going to be more enthusiastic since I'm a little bit late. But he'd be hungrier. So that's what I get for trying to give him more rotisserie chicken. Okay. So see a piece of blue blanket on his fur. And... I noticed the straw in the shelter has been moved even more than yesterday. So I think Scruffy might have been in there again. So yeah, it's continuing to be on the cool side. So. It would be a good place to spend time in, especially overnight, in the shelter. So I hope Scruffy's using it. <clears throat> but yeah, I finally checked the forecast, and I'm not seeing any more indications of storms. So the forecast is now showing partly cloudy through the rest of the forecast and increasing temperatures. So I think the frost warnings are gone and the flood warnings are gone too. So we might be done with the storms for the season, I don't know. Probably speaking too soon, but... We actually need more rain, so I actually... I'm not opposed to the storms, but uh... <clears throat> yeah, I actually kind of liked what we were going through recently, where it's kind of a storm and then a pause and then another storm and a pause because it kind of minimizes the damage and maximizes the rain or the water that we can retain anyway. So I'm hoping we'll get a little more rain, but I don't know. It's getting kind of late in the season, so this is unusual for us to get this much rain, period. Especially, and this much rain this late in the season. So... I'm skeptical we're going to see much more, if any. But I'm sure Scruffy will be happy. So, might not be any more rain for the rest of the uh, season. Now, I did check my trees briefly today, and they're showing signs of life, so I was worried they died. Some of them actually look like they're okay. The uh, one that I'm really worried about actually is showing some tiny budding leaves, so um Hopeful that it pulls through. It's yeah behind it. It's yeah blooming behind the other trees. The other trees actually are actually have some leaves now. But uh, the yeah the, the the one that I'm most worried about right now that might still be alive. Uh, yeah, it's starting to pull through. So I'm hoping that trend continues. I'm not quite sure what kind of weather it needs 
I don't know if it needs more sunlight at this point. More heat. I don't know. I, I kind of sus suspect these trees are a little fragile from all the dry summers that we've and hot summers we've had. So. And yeah, I lost a couple already in the past few years. <clears throat> yeah, so let's see, yeah, the big thing I did today was go to Costco. So I finally got my grocery shopping done and uh, also the big the big thing I needed to do at Costco today was get a new car battery. <laughs> so yeah, my battery is problematic. It, yeah, it wasn't holding a charge for very long. So went to, yeah, so that was like the most important thing I had to do today with at Costco. Um, so there was actually a short line ahead of me, but didn't think it was going to take that long, but there was only one person working in the department, and so he uh, yeah, took a while to get to me. <laughs> so, was, yeah, it's kind of a, it's kind of symbolic of, yeah, the rest of my, how the rest of my trip turned out, turned out, uh, didn't seem that busy today, but uh, there were like bottlenecks everywhere, so uh, my trip yeah, you know, took longer <laughs> than it seems like it should have. So, let's see, my car battery, yeah, I found out it actually is out of warranty, so it actually did last a good, good amount of time. So, um, yeah, I guess, I guess it was a good deal. I don't know. This month's uh, trip to Costco is going to be really expensive, though. Yeah, but, yeah. So not only did I have to buy a car battery, but yeah, I was buying a lot more groceries since I uh, so uh, haven't been there in a while, and I decided I was going to stock up a few on a few extra things. So yeah, my shopping trip cost was painfully high today, and then also yeah, inflation. Um, yeah, a bunch of things I bought. I noticed, yeah, the prices have shot up again quite a bit. I was, uh, I was, uh, taken a little back by how much, uh, the prices have risen in, uh, just, I think it's been like a month. <laughs> and so, yeah, they, they, the yeah, government indicators keep saying, oh, yeah, inflation's, you know, year over year, it's still decreasing, it's still hot too high, but, it's, you know, Year over year, it's better, but I don't know. Uh, the prices I'm seeing have shot up quite a bit. I, I bought some whipped cream, and yeah, that's I think it's like eleven bucks for a pack now. I remember like. Uh, I was complaining like a year ago, I think it was seven bucks a pack, and that was, because I think they, before that it was you know, under five bucks a pack. And then, uh, yeah, I bought some uh, soda, and uh, that's it's almost $16 a pack now. And I think last time I was there it was over, it was under 15 I think. So, and that was just a month ago, and then you know, but I know I remember before the pandemic and the lockdowns, it was uh, it was under ten dollars. Uh, so I bought some frozen berry berry mix. So it's like there are three three types of berries. And what did I pay? I think it's over ten dollars a pack now. I think I think last year it was like seven. So, 
Scruffy seems like the pets tonight. He's pushing into him. It's quiet though. Yeah, I think I'm gonna get him his food now. Okay, let's get your food. Oh, there's a meow. Okay, let's put the food back a little bit. So I know he likes to. Hmm, he's not eating. Makes me nervous when he doesn't eat. And I start brushing him. Makes me think he's gonna run away, dodging the brush. He's okay now. I saw much of Scruffy today. But yeah, I just saw him at lunch. I don't think I got any other footage of him today. Of course, I was gone pretty much the entire afternoon, so I didn't see him in the afternoon, but I didn't see him in the morning either. So, yeah, I think, yeah, I was just yeah, doing a normal lunch. Though I noticed, yeah, during lunch, the straw had been moved. Hey, Scruffy. How you doing? Yeah, we're gonna come in. It's another nice day. Sun's out. <clears throat> I think the storms might be over. Yeah? Still a little too cold for you? Okay. Yeah, it looks like the straws moved a little, a little more. I think you've been in the carrier. Shelter. Okay. Oops, I almost spilled the kibble.
So tonight's dinner is beady pate with real ocean whitefish, kibble, and rotisserie chicken scraps. So it's the last of the uh, can of uh, beady pate, so we'll get another flavor tomorrow. I think, I don't know, is it time for a hearty cut? I lost track of the book of that. And uh, yeah, the, it's probably, so my little bag of chicken scraps, yeah, I think there's one more serving for tomorrow, and then I'm out, but yeah, since I went grocery shopping today at Costco, I got another rotisserie chicken, so yeah, I got back later than I thought I would, so I've been kind of trying to squeeze in a bunch of things before dinner, and uh, I was trying to cut up the chicken. I actually didn't finish, but yeah, I was you know, running behind, so that's why I was late trying to cut up that chicken. But I did pour some of the fresh juice juices in the bowl today, so it's a mixture of uh, older chicken scraps and a little bit of newer, fresher stuff. Nice and warm. I heated the old stuff too. So. Uh, let's see, yeah, I bought a bunch of vegetables, so I'm going to make another batch of vegetable soup soon. Not sure when exactly yet, but yeah, it's coming up. They didn't have spinach again. And, uh, but they did have celery this time, so, yeah, I don't, I don't get it, <laughs> so, at least seem to be out of something. <clears throat> so yeah, before I left, yeah, I was trying to figure out how to uh, unscrew the battery from the car in case I have to hot swap it. And yeah, just in prep for changing it anyway. And um, <clears throat> yeah, my the light in my garage, a bunch of the bulbs had burned out, and uh, it's too dark, so I couldn't see. Um, I have multiple light fixtures, but you know, because each bulb uh, burns out, you know, it gets darker. And so these are the old, the old. Well, it's actually a combination. So I have the old style fluorescent tubes. So I got two of those, and then I also got, a few years back, I actually replaced uh, two of them with uh, LED fixtures that look like the fluorescent tubes, but you know, they're actual LEDs and they're not removable. If you replace the thing, you got to buy a whole new unit. But they're supposed to last for a long time, and they're actually really bright, and they uh, don't consume that much power. 
Not that the force of tubes can sing that much either. But, uh. <clears throat> I kind of want to get rid of the force and tubes because they keep going out on me. But the problem is, my dad bought all giant, or actually two giant boxes of replacement tubes, and he has them in storage. And I feel like I should, you know, use the tool, the tubes before I, you know, completely, uh, stop using the, the fixture and replace them. But, uh, I'm a little surprised at how short lived these tubes are. I thought they'd last longer. So I might be replacing them sooner than I think. Um, and so today I put in two tubes. Actually, three, three of the four bulbs were actually out, so I needed to replace three, uh, three of them. So just one, each fixture is one, uh, two. So I replaced the first fixture and then I tested it and they were flickering. And I was thinking, you know, these are brand new tubes. <laughs> Shouldn't be flickering, but I'm starting to wonder if there's a shelf life. Because I had this problem, I think the last, or it was like two times ago when I uh, replaced, the uh, last time I replaced the tubes, they also flickered and then I, I was unhappy with it, so I went back up, took out the tube that I replaced, and then got another tube and put it in, and it didn't flicker. So I'm not sure if it's coincidence or if there's something suspect in the tube. I put the tube aside, so in the future I might try it again, but um, I have to get a ladder to uh, change the fixtures, and I gotta move the car out of the garage so I get get up to the fixtures and put the ladder down. But anyway, so I put in the two thing, uh, two, uh, two tubes, and yeah, both of them were flickering. So I was really unhappy with that. And then the other fixture completely went out, so both tubes are now not working. So, I don't know. So I, I yeah, I didn't feel like fussing around with the, the second one, and actually Yeah, so I decided to come back to it and keep an eye on how, how the the ones I just replaced were uh, were working. So when I came back home, they were actually working fine. <laughs> so they stopped flickering, but yeah, now the other one's completely out. So I don't know. Maybe it's a power problem. Maybe not that they consume that much power. They just have four of them, not two of them. So that doesn't make sense. So Scruffy didn't clean his bowl very well. So maybe that's why he wasn't meowing. He's not that hungry. Maybe he caught something today. Weather's nicer, so it's a good, good day to hunt. Oh no, I was looking for my ladder. I couldn't find it. Fortunately, I had another one, but then I realized the one I was looking for, I think my neighbor had borrowed, and he's the neighbor who's now in a full time care facility. And, uh, and I remember his wife was throwing out all, all his stuff. And now I'm thinking she might have uh, donated the ladder. That was mine. Oops. <laughs> oh well. I have to ask her if she just still has it or not. They're really good neighbors, so I don't, I don't mind. It's a small price to pay. Especially for all the help they've uh, given us over the years.
Oh, that reminds me. Last time, yeah, the last time uh, he helped me take uh, my recycling to the recycling center to get money. Yeah, we had a kind of a tradition where, yeah, we'd load up, so he had a big van, so we'd load up his van, take all the recycling to uh, the nearest recycling uh, center that paid out cash. And uh, and then with the cash, we'd go out to lunch or something. And uh, usually we just left the money uh, with him in an uh, envelope that he kept in his van. So it would always be there if someone wanted to go out for lunch or something. But yeah, I guess uh, when I think about it, yeah, the cash is probably gone. We got rid of the van. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> okay, that's script is done. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye.